Hey everybody, Hobba Ziggy here. This is going to be the first video of the Hot Weekly Recap for everything that's pretty much EV. I think this is what this is going to be. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button below. It helps me out a lot on YouTube. So let's jump right into it and see what kind of the top stories were from last week. All right, last week I was looking around and found that Bjorn, uh, he's a YouTuber out there, actually found the... He found the Norwegian Fire Department using a Model S uh, for training. Uh, there's a lot of information on it. They kind of walk through it a little bit and show it. Uh, you can kind of see the interior of it. Really cool video to watch. Like I said, I'll leave a link for this one down below. Uh, it's interesting to see more and more um, first responders getting uh, EVs uh, of all types. He did say kind of towards the end that they also have a Audi e-tron that they have converted to an ambulance that's having problems when it hits certain speeds uh, and apparently Bourne's done a video on that one too. According to Elon Musk, the Tesla truck event is set for November 21st. Is there a watch party near you? Who gets invites? I don't know. There's a bunch of people I know that are possibly getting invites because they've gotten invites to previous events. So it'd be cool um, if they do. Maybe they'll give me a little feedback. Um, I'm new to the Tesla family, so there's like little to no chance I'll actually get an invite. But that would be pretty awesome. So looking forward to that. There should be a whole lot of news coming in and around that. But again, that Tesla truck announcement is going to be on November 21st. As everybody kind of in the Tesla community knows right now, there's been a little bit of drama with Top Gear. Posted a video about a head-to-head -head comparison with the new Porsche EV compared to the Tesla Model S. When you really dove down into it, in case you don't know, looks like that they had the car in range mode. They also didn't set it in full ludicrous plus mode, and they didn't um, set the car in launch mode to launch. Now... You can, I'll post a video to this one, but Drag Times has done a full video related to this um, to dive into details about what they did wrong. He's confirmed a little bit about uh, why they actually set it up wrong. But here's my take on it, just a quick take. I really don't understand why Top Gear would do this anyways. I mean, clearly they've either A, been paid by Porsche to handicap the car, but even that doesn't, that to me doesn't even make a lot of sense because I guarantee you, the second that Porsche drops, somebody like Drag Times is going to get their hands on it and they're going to do a real head-to-head -head race and post the real number. You will instantly get discredited. So I really don't understand why they would even do this. Like, you're going to be, I don't know, I don't know, instant, instantly discredited. I mean, if it's not him, it's going to be somebody else. So, it doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what's going on there. I'll leave another link for this one down in the description. It looks like Tesla's released a new update for the Model X front seats. Uh, these things are actually full-on new seats. Uh, as you can see here, here are mine. Uh, so, mine was a 2020 that was built in October, which is the same seats that they had in the 2019s. And if you look here, the headrest is completely different. Like ours has the front part of the headrest here. Um, like you can see. And then here, the whole headrest is one big piece now um, instead of what it was. And then now it looks like they've got back pockets in the seats and where mine is just the still the, uh, you know, flat seat. And then you can actually see they changed even the front. Um, so here is what my buttons look like. Uh, there's a circle in the front and then it looks kind of like a seated position. And then on the new one, the circle's in the back for headrest and lumbar. It's moved to the back, and then the, you know, this has moved forward, and the adjustment arm has moved forward a little bit. Now, you can kind of see this seat cushion. Uh, it looks like this has got kind of a sharper edge down, so, um, I don't know. You'd actually have, this looks like maybe of a little more pointed at the front here. I, these are these to me look like a hundred percent new seats uh, for the front for the Model X. Uh, so I think the yeah. Uh, oh, this is even different. Look at this. You see how this is uh, this kind of goes up here, and then it's got like this little. The, I, I'm gonna call it the Model X has brand new front seats all around. Um, so these will be interesting to see uh, what these actually look like and maybe feel like a little bit when they come out. But looks like the Model X got some new seats. 
All right, guys, this next one gets probably the eye roll of the week. Former Daimler Chrysler CEO praises Tesla, but says Germans remain permanently ahead. Ugh. Okay, so the so the details of this article. are <laughs> I don't even know if I have a lot of words for this one <laughs> basically what this guy is saying is that because they have so many factories that can build ice cars that they are still ahead in car technology and that they can adapt faster than Tesla can. So I'm just going to leave a link for this one to just get your own opinion on how German car companies are somehow still in the lead even though they're not. So, yeah. This next one's looking pretty good for Tesla. Their credit, their debt receives a positive outlook from the S&P. This is, this is good when your credit rating, obviously, is better. You get better terms and better um, for... You get, you get better terms on the debt that you've got, right? So, this, is, this was really good for Tesla. Um, really, anybody, right, who gets um, positive ratings on their, on their debt. So the last one I'm going to bring you this week is Ford is actually set to unveil that Mustang-inspired uh, EV come November 17th. It's kind of interesting that this announcement is going out just a couple of days before the Tesla truck announcement. I will put a link to this one below, but you can see that um, it could be an interesting release for, for Ford. Um, yeah, we'll see. More stuff in the market is good for the market as a whole. So I'm going to see if this takes off, and I might do this once a week as just kind of a recap of some of the um, key things that happened from the previous week. Um, looks like we might be able to talk about some new updates for Tesla that's rolling out. Um, looks like they put out a dot release for some bug fixes for the uh, um, upgraded V10. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot, and I'll catch you next time.